lockdown is lifted! The patrols are going to start up again. Do you know what this means? I'll actually be able to get into a real fight! Oh, I wonder what it'll be against. Raiders? Rad scorpions? <gasps> Death claws? Oh, I can't wait! <laughs> so, what's up? Bye. How may I assist you? Hello. So you were able to get the lockdown lifted. I'm glad. It should be good to get my hands on some new tech. It gets a bit boring tinkering with the same stuff every day. I wish I at least got a turn in the power armor we fix. Maybe someday. Anyway, it's good you're here even if you didn't plan on meeting me today. I'm in need of a runner, and you might just be perfect for the job. Badass Merc can find a needle in a haystack. Yep, you'll do just fine, all right. Oh, me? I'm just one of the scribes. Usually one of the paladins comes in here with busted power armor, and I have to fix the damn thing. Where would they be without us? We scribes are just fountains of knowledge, aren't we? Speaking of which, what else can I help you with? Yeah, that's right. I'll try and get straight to the point, as you've already done a lot for the Brotherhood. The long and short of it is that we picked up a strange signal being broadcast on what's typically a secure Brotherhood channel. We decrypted it, and it was a three-letter message. Do you know Morse code? Probably not. Wasteland schools don't seem to teach anything useful. Anyway, the message was SOS, which, if you didn't know, is typically used in the event of an emergency. Judging from the format of the message and the signal it's been broadcast on, we have reason to believe it's a Brotherhood distress signal. Could be someone in danger. I've already sent Pals and Jameson up north to investigate. However, he could definitely use some help. There'd be caps in it for you. So how about it then? Okay, I'll answer what I can. Well, I'm not really sure. Could be some survivors from Helios 1 that decided to go north. Command did send a couple of chapters out east, before the war, with the NCR, when it started. <sighs> it could have been a trap sent by the NCR. Or the Legion. It's anyone's guess, really. I'm sure you and the Great Paladin Jameson can solve this mystery together. With the lockdown having just ended, one might think that we should send our armies everywhere and reclaim the wasteland. One meaning every meathead paladin in this bunker. <laughs> in reality, these things take time. The Elder won't want to risk too much when we're still so badly outnumbered out there. I wouldn't worry. You're going with Jameson. The Paladin Jameson? Guy's a war hero. Okay, so back to business. Can you go check on Jameson then? Thank you. You've already done so much for us. You don't know how much this means to me. I'll mark the location of the signal on your map. We managed to pinpoint the location of the transmitter. One more thing. Jameson doesn't know you're coming, so try and not scare the shit out of him. He'll probably just incinerate you if you do.
Who the hell are you? Don't take another step if you know it's good for you. Don't. Test me. So McCann managed to get off power armor repair duty. There's hope for us all. I suppose she must have sent you to help, but why an outsider? No matter. How much did she tell you? Yeah, Morse code. When I got here, I tried to use that little ham radio in the corner there, but all I got was some static. See that marking on the wall? Definitely Brotherhood troops that had been here. From what I could hear, that signal sounded like trouble. I had a quick look in the other room, and it looks like some kind of underground subway. Now, this is just a myth, but there's apparently a hidden city just north of Vegas that's rumored to contain all kinds of treasure. Could be that those comrades of ours were lucky enough to find it. They call it Storm City. Ominous, right? So yeah, I could use your backup. Any question? We're dedicated to preserving the past and the future. The key to our principles is technology. Despite what you may have heard, if you've been anywhere near the East Coast, the locals aren't the priority. A raider might kill a civilian. That's one casualty. A raider might get a set of power home. That's several casualties. That's why technology comes first. That's what I tell myself anyway. Now if you're done asking questions, can we go? I don't know, but that's what we're going to find out. The Brotherhood often finds shelter in old military installations. I've heard scribes speak in absolute wonder about a Sunstorm power plant. Some of the terminals in Helios mentioned that it was supposed to shelter all manner of black projects. It's said to be surrounded by heavy sandstorms. Sounds a lot like the urban legends you'll hear in almost every saloon from here to California. Could be that some of the survivors from Helios decided to head up north to investigate those rumors. Now, is there anything else I can do for you? Those stories are overblown. I did what any paladin would have done in my shoes, and saved my comrades at Helios. So them being them, they told the story and yeah, it grew arms and legs. Don't think they can tell it without having to swear every two seconds. Hell, they even wrote a song about me. Who does that? All right, here's the key to that door over there. Lead the way.
This rickety old thing is what we'll be traveling on. Make sure you hold on to something. Come on, let's find the carriage's controls. Seems the journey wasn't as bad as I thought it'd be. Hmm. It is eerily quiet around here. Let's see what's down that hall. that robots seems to be coming from straight ahead let's try the door on the left we might be able to sneak past them
unable to continue.
Don't move a muscle unless you want to be turned to ash. This is Brotherhood territory, and we don't take too kindly to outsiders. What's your business here? Elijah is hiring outsiders? You must be the backup we sent for. Come, stick behind me and I'll take you to him. You're lucky I personally know Paladin Jameson, outsider. That man is a brotherhood legend. If it weren't for him, you'd be a pile of ash right now. I guess you responded to the radio broadcast. You must have thought it was a distress signal. It was a warning. They must have a jammer up in Sunstorm. Damn muties. That man's a war hero. He pulled me out from debris as we were getting sworn by NCR. He must have killed 15 of those bastards single-handedly. We normally get a visit from Brotherhood Central checking on our progress. We had to warn him. You heard correctly. Those bastards must have stumbled across this place just like we did. They ain't nothing but beasts. And there's only one thing you can do to a feral beast, and that's put them down. It ain't gonna be easy, though. Bastards are tough as nails. Out of the damn woodwork, it seems. Sandstorm makes it hard to tell where exactly they came from. What matters now is getting rid of them. Under no circumstances can we retreat. We'd be betraying the Brotherhood Code, and I ain't no traitor. I don't think any of the troops are either. We will reacquire Sunstorm, even if it kills us. You got that? You go try that, kid. Come back and tell me what happens. They'll tear you limb from limb. We're taking back the Sunstorm, killing as many muties as it damn well takes, and then some. A power plant. You're from the Mojave, right? You heard of Helios 1? The same company. Side 10. Well, we found something there. But that ain't none of your business. You should just think about doing the job you signed up for. Only good muties are dead muty. We're gonna launch a counter offensive. Beat those muties back to whatever hole they crawled out of. We gotta prepare though. I know no plan's perfect, but we gotta at least hold some of the cards. We need guns, men, and morale. That's where you come in. I need you to speak to my advisors and give them a hand with any problems. Start with my head scribe. He can be found in the med bay. He needs some help with some surgery. Medical experience will help. I'll also need you to speak with my head paladin, since he can't handle anything himself. That yellow belly can be found in the courtyard. Finally, check in with our quartermaster. What we need is some superior firepower. He'll point you in the right direction. I'd recommend talking to everyone before venturing into the city, because I'm short on time and patience. Now, do you have any questions? Who do you want to know about? That pencil pusher? That fool thinks he can wait until next week to get this done. There ain't no such thing as a perfect plan. It's gonna be violent, regardless of how long we plan. The lab geeks are smart. Darius is smarter. Anything about Sunstorm you need to know? He can tell you. Now, I'm sure he needs help with some of the injured troops. Poor guy. Attacked by those savages. I assigned him to quartermaster duty to get him away from the action. He's a little bit fragile, so be careful. It's a lot of pressure, if I'm quite honest. But, somebody's got to rise to the plate. May as well be me. There's a whole stinking pile of bureaucratic shit that I still have to deal with. I don't wish that on anyone. I'm here to kill muties. That's what I'm gonna do. 
Jesus Christ, kid. You want a history lesson? We'll talk to one of the nerds. I'll help you out. I'm the elder of this chapter. I'm also the one who's giving you orders. That's just about all you need to know. We ain't got time for this shit. You have muties to kill. That needs to happen sooner rather than later. Dismissed. I'm gonna stay here and train the initiates. They need all the help they can get. Talk to the other. He'll point you in the right direction. Although, maybe there's something else I can do for you. Well, having been here as long as you, we're probably thinking the same thing. I've got to say that this place is rough. Food seems in short supply, and being in the middle of the desert probably means the same is true for water. These folk need to fight super mutants in these conditions. That's not easy in the best of circumstances. I don't fancy our chances, but we need to try. There's a lot of tech in this place that could be dangerous in mutant hands. You might want to keep your voice down unless you want him hearing you talk about him behind his back. I know Jackson. We fought together at Helios 1. He's a good soldier, but I definitely didn't have him on my short list for command. In times like these though, you need a hard ass like Jackson. Beat the enemy no matter what. There seems to be some tension between him and Don though. That sort of thing isn't uncommon in the Brotherhood, which might surprise you. Arguments about the best interpretation of the Codex usually happen over a couple of beers in the mess hall. It happening this high up in the chain of command can't be good for the chapter's morale. So yeah, we've got our work cut out for us. Sure, come back if you need it.